Welcome back to Match 3, Zoldan Pool. Have a okay handle. Feels like for as many two drops we have we have in the deck. We haven't found them on turn two all that often, but I think we do keep. We got lands, got spells. And to be fair, our, our man's been pretty kind to us this these matches. I haven't got super flooded ever. I only had one game where I missed a land drop. Oh, rootbound drag, best card. Alright. Go my sky marcher. Okay, Diviner. Looks like we're playing a, a big deck on my opponent's side. Oh, oh, right on time, Mr. Firebrand. Right on time, I commend you. So opponent to get a draw free forest there. Um, it's a little bit nice that it was a Firebrand specifically that we drew, because it can still attack into the Diviner and um, force its way through. Okay, Tiger Tooth, not a bad one either. Uh, well, let's stack with both. I won't be surprised if he just trades here. Yeah, just fine with me. One gains a couple. Unfortunately, we do not have a follow up here, but a couple turns we will. Corefire of Dusk is not a bad finisher, too. Especially against a deck that looks like it's going to be mostly ground troops. Oh, wow. Man, she's been right on time a lot of games, too. Um, so let's attack with Sky Marcher. I don't think there's really a world where we're going to block with it. And play our Paladin. If he has a removal spell... Hmm, it might be a toss-up which we play. Okay, well, we'll definitely trade. If he's got a trick, it's kind of nice to get out of the way right now. Okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. Ranging Raptors, okay. Um, just player. Kind of like we do. It gives us two blockers. Um, my opponent kills off the dinosaur. We can still chump block with a vampire. Does let him give it an extra land. I guess glorifier of dusk is a little bit bigger, but that still dies to removal. I think we're gonna play Wally here. Again for our one in the air, as per usual. Always Diviner doing a pretty good uh, Wall of Omens impression this game. Alright, with any luck, he doesn't have a way to interact with us. It's certainly not impossible. My opponent's just got like an uh, unfriendly fire or something in these colors, but we're gonna run to that pretty much at any point in the game. Okay, yeah, just Dagger Tooth. I'm fine with that. That's probably one of the best case scenarios. Um, we could just make this huge. Well, I guess only up to five in the game. Life. Five, I don't think matters that much. Um, not going to swing at the dinosaur, but we're going to play the glorifier. And make another dinosaur, I think. Let's get the most value out of this as we can. We have gone a little bit higher on lands than I would like in a perfect world, but can't always control that. And we, like I said, found one of our, certainly probably the best bomb in our deck, so can't complain too much. Okay. Unfriendly Fire seems like the obvious play here if he has it. Outside of that, what gets us? I guess if he ever draws Lightning Strike, I think that's the two cost one that's in the set, the two mana deal three. Um, he can kill it, but if he had it, he would have played that last turn, I imagine. We just have a big, like, offensive spell. Could have the Dinosaur plus two plus O oh, and Trample. We're certainly gonna block fairly aggressively here and play like that's the likely thing he has. You also have the plus three, plus three, and trample. We we'll keep her alive in both instances, probably. So let's see. Let's think about our blocks here, so this couldn't end up mattering. So if he's got the dinosaur overrun, that goes up to four. 
means we'd rather like block block. That goes up to five, so I guess it's kind of bad either way. Um, if he's got the plus three plus three, goes up to six, or this goes up to five. In which case, we'd rather block there, 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 there. Plus three plus three actually doesn't kill that, but well over there. What's the plus there? He gets in for one. I think the plus three plus three is as likely. He has a removal spell. Either way, this works fine. Plus three plus three here gets through for one, but that dies. That dies. Okay, I think I like this best. So obviously these blocks are not the best against combat tricks, but I think this is our best chance to keep her alive. And again, if she lives, it's pretty good. This is, well, I guess 3-man could be either of those two spells. The Breach the Ramparts, something like that. Or the uh, Dino Stampede. Ooh, wow. Wow, he didn't even kill off the Vampire? Hmm. Wonder if he's got the five drop that deals one to everything. That seems pretty likely, actually. Because then he killed off that, that, and that, and that. Wow, that's actually really good. I didn't think about that. Oh no, fire can need. Okay. Um, actually, about the same. Probably not quite as good. Yeah, definitely got some value there. But our planeswalker survived. Ooh, Legion Judgment. I think will be. Good eventually. Uh, still just gonna play free defensively, I think, here. I think our quickest path to losing is. Oh, cool. So we can blow that up. This ordinarily would be like a great mirror breaker for my opponent, but Legion's Judgments was a great draw for us. Been pretty bad in our last two matches, but this matchup it's really gonna shine. Okay, create another dinosaur. Swing with. I guess we can probably swing with two. This will still give us three blockers. It's kind of funny how much worse this card is than just like Garuk Wild Speaker, but it's still so absurdly good and limited. All right, picked a first match win there. Let's go to game two. Um, Mary Canny didn't look great. And a Stampede, not great. Hijack's probably okay. Don't like any of these guys, I don't think. They got Ring Runner. I don't know, I'm still gun shy about that card. I don't want to get just have to be a terrible draw at some point in the game. Although I guess we're training for hijack, which definitely is terrible at some points too. Hijack's pretty bad actually within a lot of the ways we've been winning this matchup, in that we've been winning by just playing <laughs> Watley and letting her carry us. But I think there's a good chance we can be aggressive in some of these games too, in which case hijack gets pretty good. Uh, okay, hand is okay. Really, really do want to find red, but we do have two removal spells, which I think is going to be pretty important in this matchup. Um, and then firebrands are great if we find red, so let's go ahead and keep. Okay, same territory for dinosaur. Oh, another firebrand. Not my favorite option there. I could draw just straight mountains for a little while and not be unhappy. One place commune. King four. Frenzied Raptor. Okay. Oh, it did keep it seven, right? Yep. Well, yeah, we're starting to get a little bit dire with our uh, mana situation. Really, really, really want to find a red next turn. Ho, ho, ho. Man, ask and ye shall receive. Am I right? Yeah, we'll swing with the Bishop Soldier. It's actually a four-point swing either way. Okay. 
Should have done that before I played the Flat Fathom Fleet Firebrand, but I was so excited about the mountain, I think. Okay, uh, I'm not going to swing into that, but we will play another Firebrand. The opponent had Fiery Cannonade against us. We do have a lot of pirates. I think it's the only trick he showed us. Ugh. I mean, it's pretty obvious he's got something here. If he double blocks and blows us out, he really blows us out. I mean, it could just be a killer bluff, but we can't afford to risk it, I don't think. Oh. Okay. That might have been all he had, honestly, but... Um... It's not bad. So I think we are going to Pious Interdiction that. We'll save Legion's Judgment for his big makes dinosaurs dinosaurs. Don't think we can afford to just take this forever. Let's get rid of him. Crack for another four. Pass. Points at four cards. We have Legion's Judgment. We have another Firebrand in hand. Ooh. Well, hmm. Problem is, if he plays that other one, we just lose pretty much straight up. On the other hand, he's playing kind of aggressively, which could mean he doesn't have it. I think if he had it, he's more likely to just sit on his hands and be like, I've got inevitability. We kill it. He plays the. Uh, I'm talking about the Spineback, the Leader of the Herd, whatever that card is. Herding Spineback? That might actually be it. I think we are in serious, serious trouble. On the other hand, Colossal Dreadmaw's pretty bad for us, too. We can two for one ourselves and just keep up with the pirates, but that's kind of rough. We could just take some damage this turn. We can just take some damage and hope that Hijack gets us if we're in a racing situation. Hijack is pretty good, so is the Suncrowned Hunters. I think I'm gonna risk it. We're gonna play the Emissary here. If we find a land, we won't be able to play our Firebrand. Oh, well, unfortunate. I think we're gonna bottom that, though. I don't think that's high enough impact. No swinging. So we currently have seven power on board. We take this down to nine. Seven power on board. Down to nine. That's well, pretty close with that. Hi, Jack. I think we take it. I don't really love triple blocking. Immune. One's got a pretty sick dinosaur deck. Definitely a liking it here. Uh, and Grazing Whiptail. Okay. Good one. Alright. I think we do play Legion's Judgment. Just kind of sucks because we won't be able to get through. Maybe we swing with both of these guys and offer the trade up. Bad though. So next turn my opponent swings for nine. Just such a high life total is the problem. Let's see. Opponent, let's say if my opponent just attacks next turn. I think we have to Legion's Judgment. Which means maybe we should have done it a couple turns ago. Hmm. We swing, pump twice. But we're probably just getting for four, realistically. Not, he swings. Everything and we lose. Well, I guess if we pump, we kill it. So that's okay. We pump, we trade. And then we chump block that. Pump goes down to 14. Ugh. I feel like there's an answer here, but I'm not seeing it. We swing with both. 
What's my opponent do? My opponent looks at it and says, I think I take it. Pretty sure that would be my response, because I'm like, then I've got three lethal creatures. In which case I say, cool, I got in for damage. I Legion's Judgment that, I play Firebrand there. Take six, you're probably dead through hijack. I think I swing, I don't think he'll block. Well, falls the bluff. All right, so we trade up, take my turn to 14. We'll chump block that next turn, kill off the Dread Maw, play a Firebrand, double block. Yeah, I don't know, that might have been correct. Obviously, if he has a trick here, it's pretty bad, too, but... Okay. Another threat. Um, so we can't play the Suncrowned Hunters. Legion's Judgment here. Play a Firebrand. Pass. Yeah, I don't know. I really want to be able to get him with the hijack there. Oh dear, he's got a bit. Gosh darn it. Alright, I think we played that the way we had to, though. Uh, yeah, we're dead. Darn. Okay. I, I don't know. That, that turn was pretty significant and, I think, difficult puzzle to solve. I think we needed to have him not block us. I don't know, maybe we should have played more defensively. Uh, definitely let me guys or let me know what you guys thought there because I'm not confident that was the right play and I could see other arguments But anyway Match three all comes down to this. I'm gonna bring back in our rigging runner This is the matchup where I wish I had more sure strikes for sure um, Yeah, I'll bring that in you know, hijack didn't seem great that game, but I could still see it being pretty powerful for us. We're trying to go underneath. Maybe we should just chop like the Sun Crown Hunters. That's nice inevitability. Yeah, all these are pretty good. This like potentially ruins his land drops. Hmm. Yeah, maybe hijack. I don't know. How often is hijack gonna be better than the Sun Crown Hunters? We get in a racing situation, certainly. He's more defensive. The Sun Crown Hunters are better. He's probably more likely to be defensive if we're on the play. All right. I stand by this. If we draw the Sun Crown Hunters, we'd rather have a hijack. I guess we'll take note of it. Okay, this is kind of the dream. If we draw the land, we're in a great, great spot. Uh, let's go ahead and keep. We're going to play the Sky Marcher. Hopefully play Bishop Soldiers next turn. Then rigging runner the turn thereafter. Ideally with another two drop, I guess, if we're really, really dreaming. It's also possible we just don't draw any more lands. This hand isn't great, but pretty good opening. Okay. I think we'd rather have the lifelink this early than the rigging runner. The rigging runner actually maybe isn't the best against this opponent anyway. Well, it does enable some kind of aggressive starts, so... Worst comes to worst, next turn we swing with this as a 3-3. And then use the Rigging Runner as well. We really would like to draw some lands, though. Alright, opponent picked up Ravenous Daggertooth. Not a bad one. Not an absurd one, either. So let's swing with the Bishop Soldier. We'll pump it. Uh, what could he have? A dual shot he would have used it. I don't think there's anything that really blows that play out. A rigging runner. Ranging raptors. Okay. Land. Nice. So I th think the play here is we swing at the bishop's soul. Well, because he actually might just want the land. 
Maybe we just swing in with the Sky Marcher. So maybe we play Raising Buccaneers first. And if we hit with the Buccaneers, we probably swing. Okay, land. Means we can play a lot on time. I don't heat. Or Fire of Dusk is also going to be pretty good. We're going to go pretty wide pretty fast here, though. Okay, not real surprising with that unclaimed territory. Unclaimed territory. We can just play our Dagger Tooth? No. Whiptail. Okay. It's a good job of stalling us out. Ooh. Arsonist is pretty good. We can swing with one thing here and just say it's a chump attack. Or we can just play Glorifier and swing with it and then next turn. The Arsonist is pretty good. Is that better than Wantley? I think so. We draw a land, it's pretty good too, because we can pump it as well. This is fairly hard for my opponent to deal with, I think. We'll play. Okay, so he's got big dinos. So Stormfleet Arsonist is gonna be good. I guess there's no point in waiting really, right? Um we'll gain flying. I don't care that much about vigilance, I don't think. He has a pump spell, this is kind of worrisome. Ooh, do you just have a kill spell? Alright. Oh, I should have attacked first. Oh, mistakes. Mistakes were made. Okay. It's okay. That means Swat Lead resolves, which is not all that bad either. Still Pious Interdiction, too. Um, we could gain life first. We gain life. Then next turn we can go ahead and shoot that down. Start getting in. Alright, opponent's doing a good job of stabilizing. The unfriendly fire there hurt us. I should have swung first. I was thinking there's no reason to wait, right? But definitely is. Because if we'd swung, we could have pumped it. Oh, I guess then he could have done a response. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Alright. Minor mistakes, minor mistakes. Hey. Okay. We want to give him a free land. I actually don't hate that. Let's still use the interdiction. So could I have a trick? What did he show us last time? He showed us something two games ago, right? What was that? Oh, the two to everything, which he if he had to play. Alright. Wouldn't be surprised if he's just trying to gain some life. Or uh, gain a card. <laughs> he does get to play a card here. We can potentially use Pious Interdiction, or we can just kill whatever it is. Okay. Raging Sword Tooth. That's pretty good. I guess that's true, we could consider that too. Let's create a dinosaur. We use the Pious Interdiction here. Hope he doesn't have super big fatty incoming. Well, or we could play the Arsonist and just say, hey, we don't care. Well, no, if he has super big fatty, it's not even that great against it. The only thing that's really that much worse than this is a 6-6, six -six, which I think the tempo loss by not playing it now is more significant. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of close decisions this these games. Okay, he's got it. Spine back every game in all games. All right. 
right. I think we're going to plus now, which means we should just play the Arsonist. He's already played his biggest threat anyway, and he can just sacrifice the Sword Tooth anyway. So. Gain some life. You can make a Dinosaur, but then we're going to kill the Spine back. Hmm. He still obviously could have stuff in hand, but the Spineback I think is his biggest, most terrifying threat. Yeah. Oh wow, that's from a while ago, isn't it? Forgotten about the Dagger Tooth. And he's out of cards. I think we've got him. Again, this may... I don't know, it sort of felt like it was a sloppy game for us. I don't know, I may have made some mistakes. Let's go ahead and... Shoot the spine back. Five. Yep, and make a dinosaur. And we're gonna play our Fathom Fleet Firebrand and our planes. And again, hope to ride her to victory. So that was the advantage of plusing a couple of turns ago. Let's just deal with a bigger threat. Um. Oh. What? Is there another dinosaur? And the. Uh, no. Yeah, finds a removal spell. That's bad. Maybe you should just keep playing it conservatively. Yeah, I don't even think we attack. Let's just keep making dinosaurs. Yeah, if the game goes long, we win, so. Kind of dislike that that's, like, the best play a lot of the time, but it is the best play a lot of the time. All right, let's swing with both these guys. Gonna be able to play the paladin that will buy us a lot of time. Okay. Fine by me. Take my opponent down to twelve. I guess fourteen. Create another dinosaur. Play the paladin. We're just drawing a free three three every turn. Three blockers back. Nah, I'm going for it, I think. Great dinosaurs. Alright, yeah, those cards look pretty good. I mean, planeswalkers always are unlimited, I guess, but. Ooh, Colossal Dreadmaw. Is that enough? I don't think it is. Got one card left. Goes block, block, he takes 11. He has a good removal spell, I guess the game is over. Or isn't over. Yeah, I guess we'll wait one more turn. Or do we just go for it? The problem is I always want to go for it because it's like, oh, I don't want to make my opponent. I don't want to slow roll, I guess, but I do want to win, so. Pass one more turn. Alright, now he's dead even through a removal spell. Alright, I imagine that'll do it. Alright. So probably we're still rolling just a little bit, but uh, happy to pick up the victory there. We didn't actually get to see Bishop of Rebirth do all that well. Our Sun Titan was definitely eclipsed by our Planeswalker, but man, this deck was something else. That second game, I was definitely worried. Um, I think he could overrun us pretty effectively. And I mean, we definitely lost last game here. So it's not like it was a, an easy uh, open and shut matchup, but I do think that our deck was great, largely because of the Planeswalker. But I think... A good number of two drops. 
Um, just some aggressive draws in general, pretty good. It's funny, for as many games as we won with our Planeswalker, I sort of feel like we maybe should have been a little bit more defensive. But I think it worked out pretty well, too. That's funny. All these orcs have the same axe, or more or less, like the anchor axe. Anyway. Uh, thanks everyone so much for watching. I will post this ASAP. I've been, I don't know, too busy with the real world. Haven't been able to play quite as much Ixalan, so hopefully you guys aren't dropping your fingers and waiting for more content. But this will be up in not too long. I will see you guys then.